Okay, today we're here demonstrating some properties related to your sense of touch. And we'll be doing this via the two-point discrimination test. You all probably already know that your skin contains tactile sensory receptors or mechanoreceptors that identify touch sensations when the shape of their cell membrane changes. And this information is conveyed to the central nervous system where it's processed. But the ability to sense and perceive touch isn't uniform across the skin. So some areas have a high receptor density, meaning that they have receptors that are closely packed together, and that information is passed to a central nervous system neuron that has a small receptive field or area that it's collecting information from. Other areas of the skin have a low receptor density and neurons with bigger receptive fields. So we're gonna do a test to show where some of these areas are located. This is the two-point discrimination test. And what I'm gonna use on my victim, I mean volunteer here, are two fine tip Sharpies. And what I'll do is I'll start with the arm and I'll start with them very close together. I'm gonna to ask him to look away and I'm gonna to touch them to the arm. And when he can tell that it's two different Sharpies touching him, instead of just one thing poking him, he's gonna tell me, Okay, so look away. I have to close my eyes. You just have to look away. What do I do? How do I raise my hand? I'll just tell you. Does that feel like one or two things touching you? One. Okay. Does that feel like one or two things touching you? Um, one. Okay. Does that feel like one or two things touching you? I guess two, but I know, so it's kind of like I'm cheating. I guess two. Okay, well, how about now? Definitely two? That feels like one to me. Okay. How about now? It feels like one to me. It feels like one to me. Ow! 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 Did that feel like two? I don't know, I was looking at it because you were stabbing me. <laughs> okay, do you wanna, okay. You know what? Okay, let me try again. Oh wait, hold on, how, I now? how many is that? I mean, I know it's two, but it feels like one. Okay. How many is that? Same. How many is that? I know it's two, but it feels like one. How many is that? Same. Are you gonna do something different though? How about that? Oh, that feels like two. Okay. Cool. All right. <clears throat> I'll make a line right here. And now we're gonna expose a different part of your body, the fingertip, where you might expect more tactile receptors and that smaller receptive field. So if I can try it on your fingertips, just lay your fingers on the table. Okay, and I'm gonna again touch you with two. Is that two or one? Um, two. Okay. So I'll make some marks right there. And if you'll hold your arm up to the camera to show how far we had to go, can't see it, huh? There it is. This line is how far we had to travel for you to say definitively you're being poked by two different Sharpies. And that's, <laughs> 45 millimeters. And on your finger, we only had to go two millimeters for you to be able to identify that there were two points that were touching you. So in the fingertip, there's a higher receptor density. And so you have two points that are close together. They're activating different receptor cells and those are stimulating different central nervous system neurons. On the arm, your remarkably insensitive arm, we had quite the opposite, a low density of these mechanoreceptors and neurons with larger receptive fields. So try this at home. The more you know.